Hey y'all. So, <laughs> per usual, I promise you guys, like every time I come on YouTube, I'm always telling you guys, like it's been such a long time. Here's a life update. It's been a lot of things that has transpired, um, good, bad, and ugly. Well, not a lot of ugly, actually, but there has been some ups and downs for sure. And I told myself that I really want to like get on social media, but then I also have like this balance or this battle of do I really want to get on social media? Because once you put things on social media, like people can have opinions about it and not everybody's very nice about their opinions on social media. Um, I have not had much of a hateful crowd on social media, thank goodness. I've always had very supportive people, um, very loving, very kind people. So I, I don't feel like I'll ever get that backlash, but we're also in a new generation of people that have things to say, um, and that are not very kind, but I'm going to do who, do what I do in my own style. And we're going to just pretty much go down the list. I'm on chat GBT right now. It's giving me ideas of like what I can talk about because I need prompts. So this is going to be my life update guys. What's been going on? Why I have not posted really on social media? What's my life like? What's going on now? So major milestones. So if you haven't been following me on TikTok and Instagram, I recently re-enrolled in college. So, a lot of you guys don't know, I originally went to college for sign language interpreting. Um, I went to school in Mississippi when I lived there. And um, I got carpal tunnel. So pretty much that career was out of the door. I didn't get to do anything with it. So I kind of lived my life just being a working working bunny um i was really young having to pay bills at 16 and just throughout my life just having to be financially responsible so i just decided to just go work instead of going to school because i also recognized that although i know that school is probably like the best decision for me to do i also don't think well i also know that i didn't have a drive for school because I didn't have a lot of help when I was in school. So I just felt like school was just really hard and I just didn't want to struggle with that hard. And now that I'm in school, it's like school is not as hard as it used to be because there's so many ways of passing. There's so many ways of learning. You know, there's a lot of accommodations now. There's so many things happening. So, or assistance when it comes to school. So I don't feel like I'm having a hard time. I feel like school is happening for me at the most perfect time because now my brain is much more much more mature. I have a lot more experience in life and I don't see things as I would have as a young 20 year old girl not having a mature brain to even know how to focus on school. So school is actually really fun. I'm going to school for sign language. I'm not going to school for sign language, I'm sorry. I'm going to school for psychology so my goal is to get my master's that's the goal right like that's the bare minimum but my heart wants me to go and get my phd or my PsyD in psychology so that'll make me a doctor in psychology but we shall see it's a lot of schooling for me um and it's a lot of loans a lot of money but i'm not sure if that's what i want to do so I'm not sure if I want to go that far, but I know psychology is exactly what I want to do. So we'll see. Um, fitness journey. So, <laughs> all right. So I don't remember the last time I came and updated you guys, but I want to say 2022 was actually probably the year where I just struggled so much mentally and emotionally um so 2020 um where i was living i moved from there came here and where i'm living right now so 2021 i had a good drive to just be in fitness and i looked really good i was vegan and i didn't tell you guys about that yet but i was vegan and everything was just perfect like my body looked great etc etc 
around that time if you guys remember i had a partnership with under armor and for me that partnership was what was driving me like it was driving me to be better it was driving me to be great because i mean recognize people want to work with me and then that partnership was no longer so that money that i was getting for that partnership went from over three thousand dollars a month to zero dollars a month and so that put me in a slump because it was like well this is the biggest brand deal i've ever had um you know what the heck is going on <laughs> so for me that i guess that kind of put me in a depression and i think honestly that is what spiraled me to being depressed because that's where i started feeling worthless um you know i worked really really hard to be a part of the official team like i kept telling them like i want to be a part of the real team like i want to be you know the girls on the team i want to be that with the other girls i want to work really close with them and i do feel like there was some politics happening there and i don't want to talk about it because i don't i'm not for sure but there were a lot of things that were happening that i was peeping um with some of the girls that are on the team um and just how people were moving and i felt like there could have been some I think I spoke to I think I spoke too much and too soon to a person that's on the team and I think that might have and I, I I opened my mouth so I think that's probably why they cut off the entire thing which I don't know if that's true that's just my speculation but I'm giving you guys a little bit of gray areas because I don't know and I don't want to say too much but I do feel like I think they really liked me but I feel like there was some politics happening because there were other girls that had been on the team for so long and they wanted more recognition. But I could be so freaking wrong, so I don't really know. But all, and they are already getting recognition, so I don't know. <laughs> it, it was just a weird situation. But again, because I don't know, I don't want to say too much. But all in all, that put me in depression when I worked my ass off to be a part of that team. And they just pretty much said, nope, all right, bye guys. And it was like, oh, like I'm super freaking disposable. That's where my mind went to. So that put me in a, a mental slump. Um, I had to go back to work. And that frustrated me because I had stopped working. At that point, I hadn't worked a job in like three, four, like three years, two and a half, almost three years, I hadn't worked a job. And the fact that I had to go back to work pissed me off because it was like I really worked my ass off and I felt like a failure. I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I felt like people were just using me for the moment and I just wasn't good enough to be on anybody's team. So then I slowly transitioned from being a very strong minded and very dedicated person to being very weak minded um, person that I just started eating meat again. I didn't have any more discipline. Going to the gym had become a, a, a freaking chore instead of like a priority or something I really enjoyed. And then I started comparing myself to people online and in the fitness industry because fitness at the time started to change from people that were like me doing hit workouts to people that were just doing bodybuilding and they were super strong and super lean and super cut. And it was like, that's not me. So, and those were the people that were getting a lot of attention and I wasn't that. So it was just a lot of comparing. My mental health went to crap when that happened. So it was a really rough time for me. And I don't think I mentally recovered from that. It, that wasn't the only thing that happened, but I feel like that was one of the major things that happened to me um, that really put me in a slump because when I said I worked hard to be a part of that team, I worked so hard to be a part of the girls on that team. And I so badly wanted to work with everybody. And I just felt like, I felt like I was, I'm not gonna say I wasn't well compensated because I was, but I also felt like, are you okay? <laughs> I think she had a dream. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about that later. So yeah, that's my fitness journey. Um, daily routine. So I 
my routine now is taking care of that jingle that you just heard if you guys don't know by now you want to come say hi you want to come say hi come here come say hi come here she's usually not allowed on the couch but um, come here come here she's never allowed on the couch but this is snow everybody <laughs> this is my big girl she is training now to be my service dog um she's training now to be my service dog and she's phenomenal she's such a good dog she's a rescue dog she's now about 10 months and she's like the best thing that could have ever happened to me um two days before i got her my senior cat punk died of kidney failure so that was really really hard for me and previous to him passing away okay you're good thank you <laughs> previous to him passing away i told myself that if any of my cats died like i was going to get a dog so that's why she's here another reason why she's here is because um oh no 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 oh you want to show out now no hey no ma'am get down you are a big dog on my couch <laughs> i am not playing with her anyways um let's see sorry guys i lost my train of thought so last year april 19th which is kind of going off of what i was talking about but i'm kind of going to tell you guys why i have her april 11 2023 i was physically assaulted by a man um which caused me to have even more ptsd than i had before from childhood trauma so i got her for safety reasons and so she's training and she's doing a phenomenal job but we could talk about that another time <laughs> so daily routine taking care of her going to school working i still personal train i still have clients and just trying to work on my mental health, continuing to show up for myself, going to the gym as often as possible, um, and trying to find the love for fitness again because I've, at this point, I just feel like fitness has become a chore and not a love. And I just feel like I'm comparing myself so badly to the people that are on social media that I'm almost forgetting my purpose for social media or my purpose for being online and why people follow me. So I've been struggling with that a lot. My mental health has not been the best, um, mostly due to comparisons and depression and singleness, loneliness. I'm very, very lonely. I've been single for quite some time now and it's been frustrating. So yeah, that's that. That's my daily routine. Travel and adventure. So I don't travel much. Why I don't travel is because I'm scared of the world, not gonna lie. Um, I just travel from Texas and back because I have my best friend lives in Texas, so I'll go out there to go visit her and I'm back home. Would I like to travel more? Absolutely, I would love to. Um, the concern with that is just finding someone to travel with. Now, if I had it my, my way, I would travel by myself and I would just do everything by myself but the world is so unsafe that you can't do everything by yourself without something happening so I don't travel but I would love to visit Maldives like that's my dream um aside from Fiji like Fiji and Maldives I would say Fiji's number one and then Maldives would be number two those are my top two anything that come after that would be like Iceland Egypt I would love to do those places so yeah those are places I would love to visit and maybe one day I'll get to maybe one day <laughs> hopefully on social media's bank right behind the scenes so what's been going on behind the scenes I like I said I'm in school I have a dog I lost a cat I'm single I'm lonely <laughs> I'm lonely, but I'm also like, although I am lonely when it comes to relationships, I'm also realizing that it might be the best interest in me to focus on myself because the relationship I was in before, I felt like that person was able to 
go to school and do their thing when it came to a career and every time I said oh I want to go to school I want to go to school it was never supported by that person although I supported them through their schooling so for me it's like this is kind of like my time to focus on myself because I've always been in a relationship or been seeking a relationship and I've noticed that I you know although I've been by myself for a long time I've noticed that I'm happier because I have my own routine. I don't have to answer to anybody. No one's at home waiting for me to answer to them. But then I also think like no one's at home for me to, you know, like I would love that. I would love somebody to be home waiting for me or I'm waiting for them to get home and, you know, whatever, whatever. Like right now in my life, like I would love to have a family. Like I would really, really love to be a mother in the next coming years. I would love to be remarried. I would love a family. I really want to be somebody's wife and someone's mother. So that's my plan. That's my goal in life. Um, yeah. Aside from that, I just be chilling, y'all. That's honestly, I just be chilling, just trying to get schooling out of the way so I can get my master's degree and become a great therapist. Honestly, because I've learned so much throughout therapy that I would love to have the opportunity to help other people throughout their journey so yeah personal growth like i was telling you guys you know when it comes to school and working on myself um i've realized that i've realized that i'm a good person and that might be a little shift but i've realized i am a very good person and I'm such a good person and I'm so cautious with who I share myself with because of the energy that I give to people. Now, I'm not saying I'm, not per I'm, not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying that I am the best person to be around, no. But I do know that I am a very special person. I think I'm also a very hard person to forget because of the energy that I give to people and because of the experience people have with me. So I know I'm a very special person. And I'm learning how to appreciate that person for myself. Instead of being that person for other people to appreciate, I'm learning how to be that person for myself. And I'm falling in love with who I am. Like my heart is happy because I've matured so much and I've become such a better person I still have more to work on but who I am today is nowhere near who I was years ago and I'm so freaking happy about that so yeah just falling in love with myself and not focus on a man or a relationship to complete me again although I would love to be a mother and be with someone that would complete me but I also have to realize that being with myself right now is the best because when getting into a relationship, I'm able to understand who I am and how to navigate who I am in times of conflict. So, yeah, personal growth. <laughs> Future plans. Future plans would be to get my master's degree, travel, meet somebody maybe, who knows and build a better relationship with my loved ones build a better relationship with them and to start replying to people when they text me <laughs> start reaching out for love from other people like start reaching out and start accepting people's love towards me so yeah and Understanding that not everybody is perfect, which I do know, but also understanding that giving other people's grace, giving other people grace, along with giving myself grace, is possibly one of the best things I could ever do. So, collaboration and projects. I don't have any collaborations coming up anytime soon because I'm not really on social media anymore. And the reason why I'm not on social media anymore is like I told you guys a comparison. 
and I just feel like social media is just not the same like it doesn't feel good to be on social media anymore social media has now become like a oh yeah I'm on social media like it, it just doesn't feel good so yeah I just feel like social media has become like a chore and even talking to you guys right now I don't have that many subscribers on YouTube but I also know that um, I do have loyal people I have a lot of loyal supporters and I think I owe it to you guys since I started this platform to give you guys updates so yeah that's that's update challenges and lessons I kind of already got into that but um, if I could add anything when it comes to challenges I struggle with imposter syndrome so what that means for me is I struggle with seeing my worth I struggle with when people tell me good things about myself I struggle with accepting that and be like whatever but then going back into what I said like I know that I'm a good person so I have to pick one either I'm a good person and because I know that and people see that accepting that or continue to keep thinking like you're just lying you're just saying that because I don't know why you're saying it because you had no reason to tell me these things without it being actually true you know what I mean like I just have to pick it and appreciate it when it happens and also know that I am worthy of any man that comes into my life to be consistent I am worthy of that. I am worthy of a man coming into my life and being intentional, being serious, and being purposeful. I am worthy of that. And I know that I am. Being who I am and the love and the loyalty that I give out. So I am definitely worthy of a good person in my life and good people in my life, not just a man. So. That is a lesson that I've learned. And then also learn to let people go and be who they are. Like accept people for who they are and realize that they may not fit into your life and that's okay. And also that I don't have to look like something else in order to be myself. So you guys see with my natural hair here. Am I locking my hair? I don't think that I am anytime soon, but I have thought about it. But I felt for a long time that I had to look apart that wasn't really me I want to be natural like I just don't want to have the responsibility of super high maintenance lifestyle do I like my nails done absolutely I plan on getting my nails done very soon do I like my lashes done absolutely but keeping those lashes on is just high maintenance for me because I like to get them done but it's just it's I'm learning to love myself at the most vulnerable state possible and learning to love myself through any transition that I go through in life. So. That's pretty much it y'all. So that's an, a life update. It may not have been super thorough, but it was something because you guys may have been wondering and I've been wondering for myself. So I appreciate you guys so much. And then also I forgot to tell you guys, how did I forget this? I'm a photographer now. <laughs> I totally forgot to tell you. I'm literally filming right now on my brand new camera. Um, this is a, what I got, um, R6 Mark II with three lenses. And I've done a, quite a bit of photo shoots. So if you're on my Instagram, or if you're not on my Instagram, I'll tag my Instagram below for my photography page and hopefully you guys follow and want to do some photography business but that's been a hobby of mine it's been a love of mine though so i'm actually really excited to do something i love and that's what i'm just saying i'm just living my life right now guys like no rules right now just living my life enjoying myself going to school doing photography no man <laughs> no family and just thugging it and just drinking my water. So yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and comment down below what you guys would want to see. Ask me some questions, Q and A's. I'll go ahead and answer some questions for you guys. And um, that's pretty much it, y'all. I love y'all. Have a good one.